Hello and welcome back. I want to welcome everyone who is here since the beginning and all of those who have joined over the last few videos. Those were actually quite a lot and I'm really thankful that you are all here. A few weeks ago I created the first regional bug tab for the German spook region and I ask you if you have any ideas for a second one. The main inspiration is the rhinoceros beetle, but I try to include all of the other suggestions as well, to make a more layered concept, even though I accidentally messed up one idea, but I'll explain that later. Also one comment made me change, or rather add a new layer to the evolution line of Brimsaw that I will also explain. They said that Wingnade looks like a pilot and suggested that both fake one lines were used in previous wars. While Wingnade was used for air attacks, the new bug line will be more like a tanky war machine. Quick note, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't. It supports me, my channel and this project a lot and I'm thankful for every one of you. But let's start with the interesting part, the first fake one of course. And it's actually a baby fake one. Originally I didn't plan on giving this line a baby evolution, but I couldn't come up with a good middle stage form, so I changed plans and made a pre-evolution instead. It is based on the larva of a rhinoceros beetle and a baby rhino itself. That's the reason why it already has a horn on its face. The spots on its side resemble camouflage spots and I drew them on because they were fitting for the whole reused in war theme. Also because Kyle suggested that the lion should disguise itself as the Raihorn family, but I forgot about the Raihorn part and only remembered the disguising part. That was a big missed opportunity on my side, uh, my bad. The part on its back acts like a protector and will grow once it evolves. Its feet, if you can call it that way, are inspired by tanks in their method of moving around. They mostly lay around since they are pretty slow, but because they are so well camouflaged, they were often placed in battlefields so opponents would trip over them. The side facing away from the enemy was marked with paint, so their own soldiers could recognize where these fake men were lying around. Here is the second regional bug fake mon Skilavaba. From the scientific name for the family to which rhino beetles belong to, larva and lava. The lava part was a coincidence, but since it will be a bug rock type that was fitting and colorwise it looks a bit like cool down lava. The shine is supposed to resemble the colorful marked side, which I previously mentioned. Next up, the evolution and the first fake mon of this line that I actually drew. This stage is based on an actual rhinoceros beetle, a tank and I added some light elements of roulette, like Missy Doopop suggested. And it was actually super easy and quick to draw. However, after drawing the pre-evolution I added some more details to this one. I drew the camouflage parts like they were dripping paint and in my head this fake man was way more colorful until I realized that that's defeating the purpose of camouflage. The mouth part on its face is supposed to be a very abstract rendition of a gas mask. On the feet you can see the roulette pattern and the shape is inspired by continuous tracks. After outlining the drawing I changed the mask part and gave it kind of a shield on its back, so it would be protected from sky attacks. Their shell is incredibly sturdy and allegedly undestroyable. That's the reason why they were used to fortify camps by stacking them upon each other. And the first evolution Kamak is done. The name is a simple fusion of camouflage and bug. The shine is actually more like I imagined this design in my head, but the green, brown and grey were better suiting for the concept. Since I liked this design a lot, it was quite challenging for me to come up with an evolution that I was satisfied with and it took me quite some time. The first few sketches were meant to be a middle stage evolution, that's why they look not as powerful. I couldn't get the pose right until I decided to make a baby evolution and this one the last stage. Everything about these first sketches was pretty clumsy and I think the end result is also not the best but it was the best I could come up with at that moment. Everything worked better when I decided to make the last stage more like a rhino and not like a rhino beetle. So I made a stylized rhino body and made it hold up its front leg like it's trying to shoot at something. This part is supposed to again resemble a roulette but it's very vague. I experimented a bit with the back and decided to place two rocks on it. First because now it can disguise itself as a rock formation and second of all because it is a better cover for its trainer. 
In this stage, I wanted the camouflage spots to either resemble rocks or be made out of rocks, which was a bit challenging and I changed it a few times until I settled with three gem-like structures on the rock part and a symbol pattern on the stomach area. The hind legs also got changed a few times because it looked too similar to the previous stage but the redesign changed effectively nothing. Its head and horn have even more lace than before and can function as a battering ram. However, it costs them a lot of energy since they are heavy and don't have much moving freedom, so they rarely use it. So yeah, I'm glad I could come up with something I don't hate but I'm not 100% happy. Maybe if I will ever make a video about the region's map and where you can find these fakemen, I could redesign it for that occasion, but I don't want to promise anything I can't keep. Oh yeah, also short note, I had a certain font used for the Pokedex numbers and the name, but the app which I used removed it, which sucks because I liked it. So I had to use a different font in case you were wondering. Anyways, here we have Rhino Root, from the words Rhino, Camouflage and Brood but I had to switch around a few letters. It's definitely on the high defense and low initiative side, but I think that's very fitting for such a fake mod. Also, I have to clarify one thing, these fake ones were used in Ancient Wars, based on one that I don't want to reveal right now. They are not based on any war that you would normally associate with Germany. I do not want to cross that territory. The war was actually hinted in one of my videos, but I won't tell you which one. Only those who paid a lot of attention might know what I'm talking about. Anyways, I don't know which will be the next video or if there will be a pause. While pre-recording and writing script, I realized I'm missing my USB stick with data I need for the other videos, so I don't don't know if I'm able to pre-record or upload those videos. Worst case scenario, there will be a one week pause. Best case scenario, I'll find the USB stick somewhere in my apartment and you won't even notice anything. Well, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it and please tell me your opinions in the comments. Please leave a like if you like the second regional bug type and subscribe to not miss any new videos. Also, follow me on Insta to be up to date. See you in the comments!